Well, hi, I'm Volko. This is Mark Herman. Uh, we're about to play uh, the first exhibition match of Nevsky. That's right. Two Towns and Roos in Collision, right. which uh, uh, is going to be delivered to customers uh, this no this month, this November. Um, but it happens to be that Mark and I have probably two of the uh, the few copies that are on the continent right, right now, that's and right. so that means if I want to play the game against somebody, I have to play Mark, and so that's what we're going to do. That's right. And uh, and you specified you would play the Russians only. Well, I'm Russian, so yeah. So because you're and Russian. you're and you're German. You're Russian, and I'm the and I'm the Teutons. Yes, yeah, so the make Germans it. are in there, but I've got Danes, and I've got yeah. some some of my own. Oh, Russians just another too. kind of bunch of kind of Germans, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and uh, it's going to be Nevsky's great uh, counterattack. That's right. The uh, battle is, like Pipus or whatever you call yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. Pipus, like Pipus, and uh, is the is a scenario, and uh, one of the shorter scenarios in the game. And we'll see if if the game works. It, it works fine. Now the question is, how's it going to come out? <laughs> yeah. Well, and it's well known that most designers don't play their own games well, so the expectations. Uh, so are we're already we're low. lowering the bar already. <laughs> That's what Berg used to do also. He yeah. did, when Berg was playing a game with me, if he was winning, he changed the rules. <laughs> right, yeah. Well, so you don't get to change the rules, we got the rules this time. Keep me straight on the rules. I will keep you straight on the rules. I'm notorious about you know, getting my old rules wrong That's right, as well. there you yeah. go. Does okay. that happen to you? All the time. Yeah. Good, thank you. I feel better. I feel better. Okay, we're ready to go. All right, I think we, we get to start. Yeah, we yeah. do. All right. So the first thing we have to do is we got to pick events. So two events. Actually, because it's the first draw of the scenario, it's capabilities, not events. Oh, right, right. The first one is, right. and then the events go in the second one and on. And then from then on, it's two events, right. right. So so now all you're going to get and is... And this is all open information, right? It is all open information, yeah. and uh, it, if the order matters, it's, you, you know, two cut? cons. That's fine. Uh, if you like. No, okay. All right. Okay, so, so, so I'm looking at the bottom half of the card, and I'm doing. Oh, look at this! You're gonna love this. Eye. <laughs> <laughs> right? A good start. Yeah. A good, good start. Yeah. Right. The Russians no. are not in a good place. Right. So, so Mark's current status is no capability. <laughs> yes. But Which many have said about me. Recover. People have said that about my whole life. Yeah, so yeah. All right. nobody's I gonna be surprised by that. Coleman, and I got so I got this warrior monks. That only applies to Andreas, who's not even in the scenario, and Rudy, who's not in the field. So this is basically also nothing. But I did get some some free crossbowmen. Yeah, crossbowmen so, is, is, was. All right. I'll have to so buy those the, later. The, the crossbowmen, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, I will give to to Herman. Of course you will. Yes, Herman has his Ballastarii. And so we finished Arts of War. Now we would go to pay. Yeah. T typically, there's none of that in the beginning because yeah. you're already kind of set. But yeah. if you want to, you can disband. We'd look at the, there's no service markers here or there. So we'd have to yeah, you disband. explain all that. I mean, I know the rules, so you could just you're talking to the audience. Go ahead. Right. Okay. So we're right to the main thing of the levy part, which is muster. So right. my situation is I have two lords. Both are in um, friendly places, so they both get to muster. So Yaroslav, the, uh, the the Russian Prince of Peskov here at the moment, he's only got a large of one, so he gets to do one thing. He's going to muster your favorite, Mark Trebuchets. Oh, he's getting ready for a siege there. The Trebuchets are good, both um, in defense. Also, when you're fighting on yep, you know, the counter, they had him inside as well, yeah, shooting of course, at. They mm -hmm. shoot. Okay. I, as I told you, I built one once. I, they're really clever. They're yeah. really quite interesting. I, 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 yeah, I okay. should have kept it. I, I actually, when I moved, when I sold the house, I moved. I gave it to a friend's son who really liked it. So it, and, it, and where is it? Can we it's in Maryland. Well, get it back. Let's get it back. Yeah, it's well, pretty you, cool. Well, you can go visit it. Yeah. I'll, I'll let you know where it is. <laughs> I'm sure your, it's probably... Mark, a, said, Mark says he, I, can, I may visit his trebuchet. That's right. Okay, he's a strange trebuchet. Not everybody has one. Uh, okay, so Herman here, uh, Her Herman Prince of Dorna, so he's got three. Yeah. So he's going to also do a couple of cards. He's going to do Willem of Modena, so he's going to call on the Papal Legate. I'll have him available. Yeah, of course, William. Good. And then he's going to call on the, his friends of Teutonic Order to make available their Ordensborgen, which is the commanderies. So the four commanderies are now seats, extra seats for all Teutonic Lords as long as that card's in play. That's two of his three. His last one, he's going to try to levy Rudolph. Rudolph, who's very eager, so on a five or less, Rudolph is mustered. So here it is. Six. Rudolph says no on a six. <laughs> well, I got no capabilities. You got no, you got no there it is. Uh, Rudolph. Yeah, so Rudolph says no, I'm busy. He's pulling so, Santa's uh, sled and he can't, he's busy. All right, so my muster is done. Yours is probably a lot more because you've got four and they're yeah. all in position to, must, to levy now. Yeah, so what we're going to do is the... Corellians are going to um, build another sled. 
So uh, we'll you, can eat, you can take a one, or if you want to. It doesn't matter. It, it's okay. It's, yeah. You, you can only have up to eight of any given assets. Right, so and you I got plenty of room. Yeah, plenty of room there. there. He's got no vassals, so. Yeah, so he's done. Yeah, he's he's finished. Now we've got. Uh, now this is my my main guy. This is the main guy's brother. Yep. Uh, and what I'm going to do with him is I'm going to. Uh, he's got three. So first, one I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, build a boat and a sled. Oh, that's a four. Uh, yeah, I'll let you. Yeah. There's a boat. Boat. And I'll let you pull it out of your little and cups there. And, and a sled. And a sled. Okay. So transport. And with my last one, I am going to try to muster. I, I it's a sure thing. thing. It's a sure thing. Yep, so I'm going to muster one, one more. Yeah. Uh, men at arms, yeah, and that goes so on the track. One, so one, two, three. It's all the end. I would recommend. Yeah. That's actually optional. Or I always play rule. that rule. Yeah, I play. You it. play with the rule? Oh yeah. Oh, okay. All right. I like the rule. So, but it's, it's going to go off the end anyway. Yep. So it, is it permanent? But, so or, it, or no, is, it, it goes off the end. Yeah. And this is like a box seventeen. Yeah. You can't go any further than that. And you can but come back in if it. You know. Yeah. Okay. So I got that uh, mustard. See, we didn't agree ahead of time whether we're going to be using advanced or optional rules. Oh, I always play with the whole bill. All right. Now, Domash. It's got one, two, three, four, five. I don't want any more guys, but what I do want is Domash needs some capabilities. So we're going to go into our capability deck, and this guy <laughs> is going to get uh, Streltsy. Okay, these are uh, I your crossbow. My kind of crossbows. Yep. And uh, the other thing I'm going to get is Black Sea Trade. Okay, for some coin. Yeah. Okay. And I just found it handy because I'm forgetful. You know, I actually put this here just to remind you that during call what, to arms you what, get that. Whatever works for you. Yeah. And that takes care of Domash. Yep. So I've taken care of the Krillians. I've taken care of Andre. I've taken care of the now Alexander R. Marshall. Now, I will bring in one more men at arms for him. So he gets another men at arms. Whichever this, this, this was. Uh, Alexander, uh, I can't pronounce that. Yeah, uh, well, it sounds. Uh, Perry Perislavl. Perislavl, there you go. And then he I will. I thought you were Russian. Uh, my, my grandfather's not here to, to translate for me. He'll get some crossbowmen. More crossbowmen. Yeah. yeah. And he has four lords, yep. four ratings. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to muster uh, Domash. Oh, actually, I couldn't put this here. Domash is not even in the game yet. I no, he is. No, you're good. He's in the game. Oh, yep. oh, well, so, oh so this is a Gavr Gavrilla. Yeah, that's Gavrilla. this guy over here. Yeah, Gavrilla. No, you're good, you're good, good. Yeah. Now, how about the pro problem is he has no seat right now that you can muster him at because his seat is Pskov and you can't muster him uh, uh, at I my place. That, yeah. but, but if you want him, yeah. you could do it with Archbishopric. So you've got an Archbishopric capability and that makes this a seat for everybody. Uh, right, but I had to burn run. a victory uh, point for that, right? No, oh. you, it's one, it's a capability, it's like Black Sea oh, Trade. Okay, so I have to get another card to do that. Ah. So Bishopric? Okay, we'll go look for Bishopric. So Alexander has so far done two of his four. Correct. Three will be Archbishopric. Yep. Okay. Russian lords have an extra seat in Overguard and, and, and a command of plus one, which is helpful. When they start there, yeah. Yeah, so right. I'm going to muster him. Okay, so you got to roll for I him. I still got to roll for him, though. So, so okay. he's a three or less. Two. Boom. Okay, yeah, so, so he comes in. And he's four also, so he's going to come so to here. So we give him his starting forces. Yeah, he, he gets a knight, in. a light horse, a militia, and a men-at-arms. And he can't do any uh, capabilities because he just he, got in. He just got in. He's in levy, and it has to be Novgorod because he's yeah, using he's the only player. Sure. Yep. So, so we're got, so well, we got all our boys on. in. We got a big army. This should be easy for you. I don't know if it's easy, <laughs> but but it's good to have boys. Yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. It's good to have boys. And I have two more with Alexander. So Alexander's going to get uh, a sled and a boat. A sled and a boat for him. So well, and so he did. He did. He did this. He did this. That, he did this. That, oh, and he so did that. Only, he's done. He did. That was four. Oh, that's four. Okay, well, he's done then. That's yeah. fine. So, okay. I, so you're done with your, your muster. Now we have cool call to arms. arms. So I'm first. So this is when my, my legate arrives. He can arrive at any bishopric. He's going to arrive at Leal. And he can either move or do something, move, and then he's available for later, or he can do something now and be used. And so he is going to do something. He's going to automatically muster Bishop Heinrich. 
Now, okay, so so as soon as he comes, I thought it was he plays him, and then the next turn he can call on. He immediately, as soon as he, so if he's not on the card. Right. Now, if I needed him to do something out here, like he wanted to go help Herman in Dorkpot, well, he could have appeared in Dorkpot. Yeah. If he wanted him to go help in Pascove, let's yeah, say, you'd have to move I would him. have to move him there. Okay, so, and I, then, and then so I was I was playing it with a little bit more of a delay. Than right. So, the, but okay. he can arrive any bishopric, so these four places, yeah. Yeah. and then if he's already in the right place to do something, in this yeah. case, the seat is there. Yeah, you're going to bring that guy in. You're going to bring this guy in, yeah. Now, as we call, is he the one with a command of one? He has a command of yeah. one. Yeah, he's not that exciting. He's not that exciting. So don't worry. You're perfectly safe. Oh, I'm not worried about being perfectly safe. All so right. we're mustering up the troops. Okay, and that just returns him to his card. So that was my call to arms. So your call to arms, you get your Black Seed Trade coin. Yep, I get my coin. Yeah. And uh, that goes, goes in the box, or you can just flip it before. And if you wanted to, you could, so, yeah. so we, know you, we know we remembered that, right? Yeah. And if you wanted to, you could now expend a victory point to do something. No, right? You wouldn't do that. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and finish equipping Heinrich, and then we can go ahead to campaign because the levy is over. Yep. And so you can start Building working my deck. out what your plan is. We're in the winter, so it's four cards. That's right. And, and you, of course, you don't have these in. You got them all mixed up or fixed up. Yeah, they're just... They are. Slow. 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 Let us in yet. Gabrillo, yes. Alexander. Okay. So Vladislav is not in the game yet, so we can leave these over here. Gabrillo just got in. Oh, and when I built Gordon Gavrillo, uh, he gets one coin, um, give him two, um, maybe we can get to there, give him two sleds and two provisions. Cool. And so let me get these cords out so you can see what I'm doing. Okay, my uh, deck is my command deck's built. Okay, and so is mine. So, uh, to first. John's first. So I flip. It's Yaroslav. He's in his own seat. He's going to do tax. He uses his whole command and to earn some a money. coin. Okay, and that's it. Alexander is a marshal, but he's going to use supply um, twice. That'll bring in four supply, That's four right. province, pro provender. So yep. I'll throw it over here. And then, it's gotta go I'm on sorry, I, I, the colors are the same to me. Oh, yeah, yeah. Missed it. Got it. And then he is going to take his, he's got one more command, he's going to take an He army. actually has two more commands because he's beginning at the Archbishopric. Oh, so he's oh right, that says plus one command. Yeah. Right, so right. we have these, also if you want to remind, we have this little marker you can say while he's there. He's Oh, that's what those things are yeah, for. Yeah, right. just a handy thing. Okay, so this, here's his brother. Uh, I want, don't want him, I want him, and I want him. So what I'm going to do is just for... It's like just I don't have to bring okay. that big stack around. So th sure. this is like the army. Yep. And he's going to go one space, and he will use his. Um, it's winter time, so he can use a boat to just boom sled. here. Sled. So over everything's here. frozen, so the boats yeah. are basically useless. But the sleds, he's got that, and he. He's got more he's than certainly, enough. Right. He's got. He's got two. He's got uh, Andre with it. Yeah. He's got more than enough and to carry I, the. But I have to feed these boys, four. so I'm going to have to give up uh, one. What two? Four. Four. One, two, three, two, three, 
And just so I can see who's there yeah, then. And this guy, four. four. So, so I got to burn four problem. Right. And you always feed yourself first. So two are going to come from Alexander. Okay. So the I'll other ones, if you want, can ha yeah. however you like. Let me find. I'm it. sorry. One has to come from Alexander because he's got to feed himself. Yeah. So. Uh, so you end up with four left. It doesn't matter. Three, yeah. and then he's got one. Okay. So throw one there. Good. Right, because you had eight. Yeah, I had eight. Total, you're eating four, so then you're done. Correct. Okay, so you did. Supply, supply, mm -hmm. march, unladen. Mm -hmm. You've got one command left. I think I'll just, I'll do a uh, supply, which gives me two more from, because I'm within both seats, and then That's while I'm it. close, I should get more food. That's it. And that goes with Alexander also. Okay, so I've got Herman, and he also is going to tax, and that just gives him a second coin. Got it. And just, people should note the reason I don't not worry about that is because the vetch has plenty of coin to pay, you know, for the war here. Right. And unless I interfere, your Black Sea trade is going to give you one more coin each turn. Gavrilo okay. is going to go now. All right. And he has got two sleds. He's got two commands, and so and he's got three commands starting at the. Because uh, he starts here. So mm -hmm. what he's going to do? He's going to go one two three yep so he's going to go defend the neva trade route but he's also getting close to you know getting and up into this area staying closer to the treacherous vote vodians yes and so he eats one provender for marching correct all right okay i've got herman again no surprise there uh he's got one sled and one provender he's gonna uh, march for one to felon to this commandery that's mm -hmm. one and his other two he's going to use to draw oh, you, some you took the commandery oh you have the commandery capabilities yeah. I do. So that means all these guys are seats. seats yeah and if i start there just like your archbishop would have a one plus one uh, command so he's going to then supply for his other two so that adds four mm -hmm. he eats his one done okay alexander so he's got, he's got, now he only has, he doesn't have four commands now because he's not there, so we'll put that back over here. Yep. He can go with two commands, he can come into Peskov, which I'm going to do. Right. So now you have to decide whether you want to fight me or go into the city. Or I something. withdraw in the city, and so that immediately starts a, a Russian siege. siege and also ends his move. Correct. Okay. And so I got to feed these guys. Yeah. And so again, oh, uh, it's. Oh, well, one second. Yeah. I, I am going two spaces, and all that's going to happen. Right. But I'm first uh, supplying, supplying right. first. And so then that's a two that you've eaten. You yeah. need to spend another two. Dimash yeah. eats his own. Yeah, he eats, and he eats and one. He, and then he and one more to uh, yeah. help feed out yeah. the problems that happen. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And then finally, I've got Heinrich. He's starting at a commandery, so he's got two. And he does not have any sleds, only useless in the winter ships. So he's to dump his provender to be able to march um, at all, which he does. He goes one, two. When he gets there, he has to eat. So Herman shares one with him. Right. Done. Right, and Herman's the marshal is a marshal here. He's a marshal. I mean, he would fee he would share either way. Yeah, yeah. But no, since but he's a marshal, that's now a, an army that can move next turn, right? Right, and uh, you have one other marshal. That, one of these guys is another is a higher marshal, isn't he? He is, but he's not in this scenario. He's oh, off that. bashing pagans. Good for him. Okay, so you you're done with your. This is my last move. That's it. So Alexander. So so what we're going to do is we are going to. Um, well, we're gonna we're gonna take a shot at a surrender roll. I mean, it would be a really. Okay. No I know I don't get any. I don't get any forage. It's, no yeah. surrender if there's an enemy lord inside. That's correct. So we're just gonna siege you again. Okay. Now, if I I could st wait, how much does this guy have? Um, Yaroslav. Not that much. He's gonna get. I'm, Skov has a garrison of three. I'm gonna I'm gonna storm. You're gonna storm. Okay. I'm, 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 but I only get one round because I only have one siege. You only marker. get one round, right? And so that's Alexander. So he has to be the one who's yeah. doing this the storm in the beginning. So we'll lay out. You got three um, men of arms. Yeah, my men of arms, and they have crossbows. Yes, and, and, so, my, and so does Alexander. Uh, and so does Alexander, and he gets uh, he gets a. We'll just mark that as just a, no. He gets this one, but the trebuchets effectively cancel that. Yeah. So he effectively has n have no. I don't have a no, wall. No walls. Yeah, I, but you have okay. a wall. All right. If the defender shoots first, we're only doing the one round. Yeah. Okay. So, so. My. You, you should take the black dice. Those are yours. Okay. Yeah. So, so Yaroslav himself doesn't have crossbows. It's just these three. It's yeah. a half rounded up. So well, because of the garrison guys. That's why. The garrison guys. Yeah. The, so that's two shots. 
they get past this automatically because of trebuchets. Yeah. So now you have to decide. You can take any armored units can take these hits. Yeah. And so I'm crossbows minus two armor. So yeah, these so guys the, anything one, but one, route. one or two. So you can do the. Um, I'm gonna if go you're just going to do them. You can roll three dice at once or two dice at once. I'm sorry. Two dice. Two dice. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to roll two dice. Two dice and two minutes. Anything ones. but once. Yeah. Okay. So, so both they both two guys route. Route. Okay. okay. Now you're Streltsy. Yeah. That's just this one guy, so it's one shot. But I've got walls one to three. Yeah. So and you then, gotta get... And then the second roll is against their protection, right? Correct. Two rolls. Yeah, yeah, I know. yeah. So here's the walls. Walls It gets suck. past the walls. <laughs> and so I can't put it on this guy. It has to be... Uh, oh, yes, I can because I'm the defender. Yeah. So I could just go ahead and hit my light horse anything but a one. Since it's your crossbows anyway, I may as well put, have my armored guys on the walls. As an equalizer... They route. Okay? okay. Good. All right. So that was archery. Now comes... I thought these guys had to take the first hit always. You're absolutely right. Thanks for, for the correct me. All right. So, and one of them just died. Okay. There you go. Boom. Okay. Now, melee. That's why I use this thing. Oh, you like that? I, I, I... That's okay. Yeah. Works. Yeah. I mean, here I can yeah. see what the troops okay. are doing. Uh, this is okay. fast. So now we're into, um, now we're into melee. To, you get to melee me. I'm first. You have nothing there, so now you can choose. You can choose any of them. So these are on a four or less, or three or less, and it's melee is one, two, three, four and a half. So five dice total. Right. So I'm gonna. I'll, well, first I'm gonna take the first one on him. Okay. So that's a one or a, one, two, three. Three. Right? Mm -hmm. Good. So that's one die. Uh, second die. In the same man at arms. He's so out. So he is routed. That's two. Uh, then the knights are one through four. Yeah, so you can roll the next three dice all. You can just roll the three dice because well, I, yeah, they're so all I the only same. Like two more dice. Yeah, so don't blow them all. Okay, so those guys held. Now your melee, yeah. it's in storm, so your knights only generate one hit. They're going against two hits then total against my walls, one to three. Walls held. Stop the walls. Okay, right. and that's the end of round one, which is the end of the storm. Yeah. All right? So basically, you lose, but you just go back. There's no retreat or spoils or anything. But now we got to look at casualties. Yeah. So these guys will regenerate later. I didn't have any of Yaroslav's guys routed because the garrison absorbed it. Yeah. You have these. And because you're attacking in storm, yeah. they die on anything but a one. Yeah. Okay, so you got three. You can roll like three. Are these the... Okay. So they all this? three died. Okay, so... Oh, that's those guys. Gotcha. Okay, and then your last... Your knight. And he's a one through four. Yeah. Oh, no, that's a bad roll. No, he isn't a one through four. He's a one because it was an attack in storm. So oh, yeah. Well, it doesn't matter. I rolled yeah. a four okay, anyway. Okay, so bloodied Alexander, but the siege continues. Now, you, by the way, you know the um, Veliki um, Knias capability. You've got a capability that you can go back to Novgorod and replenish all your guys from Correct. the east. But uh, I can also, I, but that's also the reason I can always... Uh, you I can also, go, you have more guys that you can, yeah. Yeah, but I can't muster them in, a, in that location. i got to pull back anyway. That's correct. But I only have to pull back the guy that I want to muster, so I don't have to pull everybody. There's Correct. only three but that there. was your last card. Oh, yeah. So, so it's not going to happen until the no, spring. that's right. Yeah. No, okay. Not the spring. Well, yeah, it's still winter. Yeah, so it's not going to happen here because you're going to be at that siege. The only guy you're going to have, well, we'll see when he love you, but it's just going to be him. Okay, so at the end of the campaign, we have I'm a little... Sure I, I just said, but that's okay. Yeah, okay, you'll, you'll see. When we hit levy, you're still going to be besieging Pascov, meaning you can't levy. Oh, yeah, 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 that, that that's part all. I got. Okay, so um, if you look at the sequence of play, so at the end, we have a, some cleanup things. Um, the, what applies here is wastage, and do we want to discard any of our capability cards uh, at our option? Yeah. So wastage is if more than one of any kind of uh, asset or, or, or cards, you have to dump something. So for example, look at Heinrich. He's got one coin and two ships. He's got more than one ship, so he has to either dump a coin or a ship. So he loses a ship. And every, every lord has to Every do that. lord by the lord. So Yaroslav has one of each thing here. He's good. Herman has two coin, a sled, and three provender, and one card. So he dumps a provender down to two. Yeah. And that's my wastage. Okay, so, so I'm going to lose a sled here. Yeah. Uh, Andre is going to lose a sled. Okay. Um, he will lose one sled, so I'll get one sled here. Okay. And he's going to lose a sled, so I don't know if I need... Oh, there's three. Right, there, perfect. I'll lose a sled from the four. Okay, so that was wastage. And now, if you want to dump any of your capability cards because you're interested in having the vent in the deck, you would do that. That's unlikely. No. So then we're done with that campaign and levy. So now we shuffle the Arts of War, and now it is the events. Now it's the upper half, and I'm first. Okay. So here's where nasty things can start to happen. Uh, hopefully it'll go either way. Yeah, either way, yeah. All right, cut. First event for me is a hold card. So I'm going to put that right here. Second event for me is Swedish Crusade. 
into Tavastia. On calendar, shift cylinder, or service of Vladislav and Karelians, each one box. So, service or cylinder of Vladislav. So, Vladislav, because of the Swedes are acting up, actually is going to be less sooner ready than otherwise. And Karelians are going to be more eager to go home than otherwise, because the Swedes are pressuring you in the north. Yeah. So that was that event. This one's a hold, so I'm done. So two to you. Okay. Here we go. First one is... Bound immediately one. remove one Ravage marker from Russ. Ah, uh -huh, okay. So, and so that's the, also a half a victory point that I lose. Because that, was a, that was a very fortuitous one, because I, now I can forge there. When you capture the city, you can forage there, yes. I can't forage there when the city is still yours? Only in summer. Oh, well, you no, there's no more summer coming There's no on. more summer. But should you take the city, then I have a... you can now forage there even in, in uh, Rasputitsa. And oh. famine. Okay, so I'm suffering from the famine, which is going to basically wreck my ability to... Um, well, it's going to slow down your ability to get food. To get food, exactly. Yeah. yeah it's exactly. a tough spring. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Over there well, bountiful the... over there and famine over here. Yeah, that's the way it goes. It's very biblical. <laughs> <laughs> right. Okay, and so now comes... We're, we got to pay, guys. Now comes pay. And so, so now it becomes an issue because... Yeah, I'm going to pay that guy. I got to pay him... You'd have to pay him two, one, two twice. to keep him in, yeah. and I do want to keep him in. Okay, so that's two out of your Vietje. So this goes down to two, two right. but I'm going to get one back in a second. So I'll just, you know, do that. How's that? Okay, so fine. Keep looking for All right, Yaroslav is going to, he's the only place, I don't have this ability, so I have to pay where on the scene, right? Yeah. Fortunately, Yaroslav has some coin to pay himself to just stay in the fight a little bit longer. So he does that. And then Herman and Heinrich. Herman is going to go ahead right now and pay him. So, of course, this pay can happen almost any time during the turn, but sometimes you get caught and you, don't, you lose your money bags. And so, just the best practice. Sounds fair. Go ahead and pay Okay, them. so then we're up to, we've paid everybody, nobody's leaving now. Yes? So, nobody's disbanding because there's nothing yeah. here. Yeah. That's right. So, uh, we're up to mustering. So, we're up to mustering. Okay. And I so can only muster with this guy. You're only going to be mustering with Gavrilo because the rest are in siege. I can't muster with Yaroslav, but Herman and Heinrich both can. So, Heinrich has two. Okay, so here we go. Um, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go ahead and play my hold card, which is Teradilo, Skogan ally. So this is going to increase Hermann's levy, his lordship, by two for this levy. So instead of three, he's a five. Okay. All right, and I'm going to try once again for Rudy. Rudy. Rudy on anything but a six. That's one. So this is my second time that he said no. I'm going to try him again. Okay. He finally said yes. Right. So Herman, just a moment, he's got, he's got three left. Yeah. All of this basically to muster Rudy. So Rudy usually comes in down here, but because we have the commander here, I'm going to bring him in there, over here. Yeah. And I'll put his yeah. stuff on him later while you're uh, yeah. mustering, but we need to put this goes one, two to there. And these are over here. Okay. So that leaves me still with three for Herman. So I'm going to go ahead and Beef up with some vassals here. Oh, and I'm doing it the uh, simple way, but actually this goes. How many there. ships do you have, by the way? At the moment, I have one. Got it. One ship. Okay, and then Herman is going to go ahead and use his next two for two sleds, and then he's done. Okay. Okay, Yaroslav is under siege. He doesn't do anything. This is actually done. I just used all that. All right. um, Rudolf doesn't get to do anything because he just came in, but Heinrich has two left. So Heinrich is going to levy hill force, which helps me move around in my own territory here in Livonia. That's his first one. And his second one is going to be also some vassals. And that's me. I'm done. Okay, so what I'm going to do is, I only have one guy to do anything with. Right. Gavrilo will uh, muster the uh, two militia guys. Okay. Yeah, two militia. So that goes, uh, we're here, one, two. 
So he has two militia, and then I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna get two ships. So if I if I'm correct, I have more ships than you do. Yes. You do. Now keep in mind the you do you have two to one, and you only have to have the same number. I have to exceed you to block you. Yeah. But. The Baltic Sea trade doesn't come in until the the, the ports melt anyway. That's right. Just yeah. stick, thinking ahead. Yep. No, you, you you got it. You're good. Of course, I could still interfere with that because I'll have a levy in between, presumably, unless well, I get myself. As long as you're wasting your money on on a navy, that's good. Yeah, yeah. Well, let's see. Um, okay. Okay. So that's your uh, muster. So now call to arms. So, so now I, I, have, so I now get this coin. That, you know, I, you'll get that coin. I, already, I just took it. Yeah, you so. took it. You took it. Okay. Good. And you're presumably not going to spend more victory points. No. Um, so I do have my legate. So what I want to do with him. So my legate is going to um, come in at Reval, and they're going to go ahead and bring in the Danes now. So here, as my army has grown. Okay, and that actually, that was my call to arms, that's your call to arms, so that puts us back at campaign, so the last campaign of winter uh, 1242. So you can do your plan. And so, just so you know, Knut just brought in two ships, so I now have three ships. It's okay. You, uh, the goal was to get you to respond. Yeah, yeah, I responded. To a threat that you may never see. Question. Um, if the marshal pulls out of here but leaves the other three guys, they can still siege as a group, even though... Yes, because you know they're not a lieutenant. It's only matter. the movement that yeah. matters. Yeah, yeah. they're there, right. and any one of them, that, yeah. whether the marshal's there or not, yeah. any one of them can prosecute the siege or storm. Right, that's exactly which what we're went thinking. so well last time. So yeah, that's right. Uh, okay. Then. So we have only four cards. Yeah, we'll go with this and. Let's see how this goes. Okay, it's four cards again. Already done. Those are three Hermans and something else. <laughs> so that's the, then that is the, is a kind of an aspect is I can you can never, you know, just fill the whole season with one guy. Yeah, that's true. Go ahead. All right. So first up is Rudy. He is at a commandery, which is a seat for him, so he packs it. Money? Oh. Money frees you. Alexander, so what happens is these three guys remain at this location. Yep. And he, uh, Alexander, he's got three commands. He's going to go one, two, three. Okay, so he has a problem going alone. Because he's got four provender and only one sled. So oh no, he, I would, I would, yeah, I gotta redistribute all this. Well, stuff. you don't get to redistribute. You can drop it, but there's no transferring among. Oh, I, oh, I, I can't transfer the food. So right, in other yeah, words, unless I get him more, I can't give him sleds or nothing. Uh, that's no, a problem. you can share in consumption only. You can't actually move stuff from mat to mat. Okay, that's it. So he can drop it and. No, I got a different plan. Okay. We're, he's not going anywhere. All right. <laughs> However, we're gonna, uh, we're gonna look for a surrender. We're gonna siege. I've got a, oh, uh, so he's going to siege. So you, there's no surrender roll because no, there's but an I, enemy but line. But I get side, another siege line. But you automatically get another siege marker. Right. So now there's two of them, uh, which means go. I can storm in two rounds. So now you get two rounds in your storm, and you're more protected from the trebuchets, right? Okay. And, and but if I, but I assault, he has to lead the assault still, or I can make anybody lead the assault. If he's the one storm, whoever storming takes the first round, you can switch out after that. Okay. Right. So that's the, that's okay. the key. But stay tuned because we're not done yet. Yeah. With the siege because. You have to eat, and I have to eat. Yeah, that's right. So I can eat. 
Okay, so you've got four guys there, so you just eat your four and you're you're done. And okay. You eat. And I have one that I have that I started with that I'm eating now. Right now, if you don't have any food, then you start. I slide and. And he and might just dis disband, obviously. He would. Yeah. Yeah. If you do that one more time, mm -hmm. there's nothing I can do. Basically, I'm trapped in there. He's going to slide and disband. And right. You'll be rid of him, and then it's just the garrison you deal with, and that's when surrender rules start. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So that was uh, so. So then I've got Herman. So I'm saying how many, oh, forgot to put Knud on here. So how many sleds have I got total? Three, four, just four. Okay, I'm feeling I think confident enough to come forward a little bit. Because he took some heavy losses with Alexander's storm, and I don't see any horse archers that I'm very afraid of. So yeah, I haven't raised them yet. Yeah, and Gavrilo's up there. So so if I go one two supply or one two raid, but I'm gonna need some supplies. So all right. So he's gonna use his marshal. They're all gonna march to Dorpat. Yeah. So that's one of his four, because he's starting at a, KC. At, a, at a KC. So the other three could be to supply from his from two, any two seats. He's got a bunch. So so the other three would get six, and he's going to eat one, two, three. So that ends up I end up getting another three net if I just sit there and supply the rest of the time. And that's what I'm going to do a little tentative. Oh, hold on, famine. Yeah, you so have much I can only add one provender per command card from seats, which I just did two. So that's so actually I got three. That's a bummer. I got <laughs> I got three, and and I'm eating three. So I basically end up where I started. I'm just I'm running a balanced budget. A balanced budget. <laughs> that's, a, that's not something you see a lot of. <laughs> yeah. And now we have Andre. Okay, there he is. So, oh. And I have hill forts, so actually one of those guys didn't have to eat just one of them, so that just gave me a little bit back. Better than Battle Forge. Sorry. Go ahead. I don't know what you just said, but okay. So hill forts, this oh. is a capability I just bought recently. Yeah. Every feed, I can have one lord in Livonia, in my kind of big home territory, ignore them. You could basically ignore feed. Oh, he's got yeah. like... But I have two other lords I still have to feed. Yeah. So these hill forts just are like little supply depots helping me on the way. So given that your army is coming close... I think. Can I do it? In, well, we're gonna have to have some dice. We're gonna have to have some dice love. So we're gonna storm. Uh, Andre's two, gonna storm as well. Yeah, Andre's storming I, this I see, but we're gonna get two rounds. I this see time. Grand Prince in your future, but okay. <laughs> so now you get yes, that's true. You get two rounds, and we're gonna mark that. And so here's the here's the storm. Okay, so now you've got again you're going against Yaroslav. Yeah. If, if you want to just, yeah, it's, it's easy enough to do, go ahead and, and slide him back. Then we can see who's going up against whom, for example. Right? It's these two. I'll get this guy out of the way. All right. Okay, so you're. I got two. I got two. You got two oh. siege markers. Where's the other one? I know. Oh, you, there it is. You dropped it. I dropped it. Okay. And so you, I get a plus. I guess I have a wall of one now because that does that only cancels out one of those. It's right? a minus one. So yeah. exactly, you have a wall of one. You're going to get two rounds. So we can mark the rounds that way. And I'm going to get my I, my garrison basically each time you attack. I know. They're, they're, they're they're covered. It. Yeah. Right. So they're back here like this. Okay. So here we are again. So now, uh, now Andre does not have any Streltsy. No. So I own the archery game. So I've got two that have to get through your one wall. So you're going to roll two dice, and ones are canceling those hits. I'm sorry. Here, I roll again. So okay. neither one. All right, so, so now, the walls. now one's on the men-at-arms, or yeah. one or two on the knights? One's on the men-at-arms? Oh, right, because you've got the uh, crossbowman. Yep. We're going to go, it's two on the men-at-arms. Neither okay, one, so, so two, two, two routes. Two okay, so you don't have any archery, so now it's my melee. Yep. Melee, I've got one, two, three, four, five. Lucky four. 
six because last time that your archers had killed one of these guys so this right. time it's six dice actually against your one wall so we can just roll all six dice did we lose one no other? six dice right here okay yeah just throw all those any ones get canceled by your siege work okay so you cancel two of those hits so now you've got four regular hits knights are fours and men at arms are threes well we'll go first with the men at arms it's one okay, hit that's off. one that's done so that's done so now you got those three left that's okay, so that's routed. routed. So you got two left on your knights. You just roll both of them because it's all knights now. And oh, oh that's just tough. wrong. Ouch. Ouch. No Ouch. dice love there. No, okay, no so dice love. Okay, so you come back with one against me. Here's against my walls, which are three. And they absorb that. Oh, so this is terrible. Now, that ends round one. Right, back into the round. You don't have to take the other round. And oh, you yeah. can switch out somebody else if Don't watch is coming in. Okay, so And he's Andre's got Chorus Bowman. He does have the Stralsi. Okay. All right, so this is round two in the final round because you've got two siege markers. And so now, again, you've got, you're taking two, one and a half rounded up, two with your one. So you roll two dice, ones cancel these crossbow hits with walls, with siege works. Nope. Okay, this has to be on your armored, guys. You can't use your unarmored in the attack on a storm. Yeah, so I'll, I'll use the, uh, the well, they're, the sergeant. So remember, the same. these are the crossbow guys, not, yeah. not him. Yeah, so I'm going to do him. Sergeants first, yeah, okay. Uh, so... All right. He's fine. So you got one left. Doesn't count. No, it doesn't count. It has to be in the box. Oh, oh heroes. finally! Okay. Some, they so are never. not. They are not persuaded. Okay. All right. So now you're Strelsi. Give so those sergeants a little. One half, and so that's one shot against my three walls. So here it is. Whether the walls come on. Protect the walls. Me, and oh, they do. They okay. Do. So that's the Strelsi. Okay. Now melee. Six again against one. So you're rolling the six and hoping to cancel dice. So I, I need ones, ones again? Yeah, because the trebuchets are taking this two down to a one. Oh, this is the wall now, right, the siege works. Okay, once again, two, your two, wall, your two, siege works take care something. of, so you've got four hits left to resolve. And this is normal, so these guys are threes, and, and you have to take it, so just sergeants or men or whichever you like. I'm going to go with the, uh, I can use the militia though. You can't, oh, it has to be armored guys, right, yeah. armored, armored first. Yeah. All right, so these are all the same, right? They're all the same, yeah. So you could say, well, you could... Um, the, the first one out will be... Well, they're all the same on the melee either way, right? On the melee, they're either way. So yeah. we'll, we'll go with the... It'll be sergeant. Sergeant's dies first. Okay. And okay, so three of them, all three of them got zapped in the end. Okay, so now that's a half. That's a half. So you got one hit coming back at me. And your wall will stop it, I'm sure. It does get stopped by the wall. Yeah. And that was round two. Okay, so, so once again, done. So now, however, what this is going to do is I have to eat. Yeah. Yeah, so there is that part of it. So you're going to get rid of me that way. Okay, so now I didn't take, my lord didn't take any losses. So now we're just going to roll, and it's ones because you're attacking. Yeah. So who dies among all these, dies on the, you know, climbing the walls and all that. So it's one, two, three, four, four. well, just start just going that way. Six okay. guys. Sure. But what, in what oh. order? Yeah. yeah. So for one, example two. here, you could do two black dice and a white die would tell you who you are, and you can throw three at one okay. time. And if we see any ones, they survived, right? So these guys did not. They did not make it. Okay. And then here you could roll, say, two white and three black. Okay. An easy way to do that. Two white and three black. Okay. So a knight survived. Yay. And the rest are gone. Yeah. So lots of death on the wall. Very aggressive yeah. approach to, to siege work here. Okay. So, but we're not done. That, that was the losses. Now comes... You still have your two C cheech markers. Yep. And now comes speed. So now you have to eat. And I, my guys are going to shift one that way. Or you can pay them. Oh, I can pay them. That's right. Yeah. So, and it's all four guys. Yeah. You've got three coin. You've got... Four coin. Okay, but Gabrilo oh, is no. not there. So I can, he, I can pay so three. Can, so I, what so I can do is I will you pay... You could expend all that and just have one guy shift of your choice. Yeah, I'm going to basically... Yeah, I'm going to pay three for my one shot. So I'm going to pay three coin. And the Corellians would disband. Would disband. Which is also or, left fewer people to feed. And they can then come back later in the spring. Yeah, I think the Corellians are going to go away. They're not that. They, and they were going up to deal with the Swedes anyway. That's, yeah, that's right. 
Okay, so so what happens is the this goes the same number as the yeah. service up, so they're going to basically be available here. in the last turn. Yeah, and, and go over here for now. Okay, I have to do the same. Yaroslav has no food; he shifts down one. I've got coin with my other guys, but they're too far away. Basically, so, that's it. He he calls, he asks for terms, and you parole him, and he goes home. So yeah. he, so he's this is now one guy only out. the garrison. So if you siege now, this is when you get the die roll. And I, and it would be and I would be. However, do I, get, do I pay the siege? Do I pay the siege mark? Get the siege roll before I roll the surrender, or you roll then get the marker. Okay, so it would be a one and or two. if you don't have enough lords, you still get to roll, but you just don't add a marker. Yeah. yeah. So if start it would start at a one or two. Yeah. Okay, so this also goes. His trebuchets are gone as well for now. And he is like the Corellians. He ends up up here. Okay, so that was your... So we're kind of trimming the trimming the campaign here. Well, it's a winter, it's a winter campaign. You yeah. Know. Not that excited. What do you got? Okay, so now it's Herman again. So that's... So you're... you're that was really I tried. aggressive. <laughs> yeah. Um, and so that's now tempting to me to actually try try an attack and, and see if I can just end it right now because you have not a lot of stuff. So I'm going to just push this this aside to help me with because these guys are not really in this picture. I've got three, I've got four sleds and four provender and all of that would eat. So I can actually move normal and I've got three and I could ravage Usman on the way and attack you. Or I can be on safer ground coming from East Borsk, one, two, and attack that way. If I retreat, the problem for me is if it if I do kind of crap out on the dice and I retreat, a retreat means I'm you know, I'm shifting it's just bad. It's just basically a lot of those lords just. Well, the same would go the same for me. So. But the same goes for you. And I just, I'm just looking at looking at the numbers here. Even though I'd be it's on the attack. It's close. It's close. It's not that bad. You'd have a total of six un six units of which only four are armored, and I've got more than double that. I think I'm gonna I'm gonna try it. Okay. Okay. So the question is, do I have one card after that? If if I retreat and somehow do survive. I think I'm okay with that. So I'm going to ravage on the way just to add an insult to injury. So it's going to be one. I'm and going to ravage. I'm going to burn Usman for a half a point. And it's not a, um, it's, it's just a region. So all I get is a Prevender. But if I now want to use one command to move on, I can't even carry that Prevender. So I'm basically just going to drop it and come at you. So I'm trying to relieve the Siege of Piscove. Yeah, and I'm going to pull back. I'm okay. not going to fight you. And so, so you pull back. Uh, the only way I could prevent that is if I happen to be holding an ambush card. You know that I'm not. I have not holding I anything. But I was. Yeah. I am holding no cards. Um, so you pull back automatically, and so the siege is is, is lifted. They're just in the scope. Uh, and now we have to eat, both of us, because we both moved. Um, so my three guys eat four of this. He eats his own. The other two eat this, and I'm done. Yeah, and, I'm, and these guys are going to have to slide one that way because I don't have food. You have neither food nor coin, so they all slide one, but they are still in the game. Yeah. All right, back to you. Okay, so now we have Andre. So if you hadn't attacked, I was going to take one shot at a surrender. That's, that was sure, the plan. Sure. That's a plan, at least. And I'm just not saying those because if they're stacked, it's like lieutenants, you know, that, that, yeah. that's an actual rule. Um, okay, so... So you can't forge there, but you can supply from. Yeah, I can supply from here, right? Absolutely. Well, you can. You have to eat two sleds. Is all yeah. you need. Yeah. yeah. So I'm going to pull in, and so Andre gets um, two commands. I can pull in four food. Correct. Yeah. So I'm going to pull four food in. Um, and that's it. That's it. Okay. All right. So my last term, and so I could now kind of like continue to, 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 to push you away, to chase you. But at this point, if I move, uh, I don't have enough food. And so I can, I've got enough sleds to reach, but because of famine, each command only does one. So I could do two, two Prevender and just chase you one further. But at that point, this is my last card, I would not be able to levy. Right. Uh, so I don't think I'm going to do that. I think instead... So I mean, I'm also looking ahead to the mud and the situation with the mud. Yeah. I think I am going to go ahead and just 
stock up. So each, because of famine, each command only pulls in one food. So I'm going to build up to another three to four food and I'm done. Okay, my last one is Alexander. So I am going to, I'm going to pull back. So I just want to see, do I get, uh, Alexander gets three commands. You can yes. take out all these guys. So I could go. By the way, you said you, you didn't have any food, but I'm, oh, you just did Andre before. Yeah, yeah. okay. So, and you could, you've got plenty of sleds to carry that food with you. So off you go, yeah. Yeah, so we're good on food. Yep. One, two. So I can also replenish my forces here, yes? When you, you if you buy that capability, which you'll be able to do yeah. Yeah, this next time, yeah. So, but I can buy the capability and replenish at the same time? Yeah, that's what I thought. The replenish works via tax. Yeah. So you'll buy the capability and then, like, say, the first card, Alexander taxes. Boom. And when everybody's back. Yeah, for okay. him. Yeah. Not everybody for all the, but, but yeah. whoever, whoever the Lord has that capability. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it'll be Alexander. But so that's... Um, Two, so you got another command left. Yeah, and I'm going to... Uh, what can I do? Uh, well, I, I can get supply, so yep. I can get more, more food. Two more food. I gotta, well, i got to feed these guys. So three of these are going away. Uh, right, well, let's say you did a that you did a supply now. I get, two, I get it, two. It'd be like that. Yeah. He did one, he did one of those, and then he did, you share. somebody has to share with Dimash. That's all. Do that. Okay. That's it. All right, so you're done. So now we do the um, discard and wastage. So if you wanted to discard... Well, remember, also, this is the turn we would turn carts, sleds into carts, and all that stuff. Correct. Very good. Indeed it is. Uh, so oh, I'm giving is you that. that you faint played that on me last time. The famine. Right. Right. Okay. So before... That's right. And that's before wastage. So Herman, his three sleds become two carts. You know, you half round up. And Rudolph's one sled becomes one cart. And Kunnabel doesn't have anything, and Henry doesn't have anything. So I did my sleds to carts. Okay. And so, so this would become this sled would become one cart, two sleds to one cart. This would become two carts. Yep. It doesn't really matter except for wastage because the carts are not useful till summer and the scenario. Do you ends round up and keep one if it's one, or you lose it? Round up, keep it. Yeah. And these become one. one so you need one. Yeah. And, and like ships I say, are fine. yeah, ships are fine. So, and, and because the carts aren't useful in the mud anyway, and we're not playing the next summer, yeah. that's basically wastage bait. You just kind of yeah. slip that off. So, for example... Only boats... Oh, in this period, only boats work now. And ships. And ships, of course. Ships come in. The, the seas and rivers open up, and that can have a big effect, actually. Okay, so these two... I'm going to waste these two carts down to one. He's only got one of each thing. He's only got one of each thing. Canoe novel. Two sh he's going to keep his two ships and lose a provender. Done. That's my wastage. So his, you know, um, not that it really matters in this case. His yeah. cart becomes one. You just lose the cart. It's yep. useless. He's fine. Lose the cart because he had two ships and he's done. Why does it he lose his cart? Because he only has one of every flavor. He has one um, cart and he has one card, so he actually doesn't waste anything. Oh, right, right, yeah. right. So if you're just at a low kind of level, right? By the way, when you say eight max, it's eight of all transport. It doesn't matter what combination. Eight of each flavor. It's eight for, oh, so you can, yeah. That's, so you, it's your governor, you know, yeah. because we didn't have that, right? Yeah. But we had these situations where some players were just accumulating like 20 sleds or something. Right, right, you but, you, but you could have eight sleds, eight boats, eight ships. Yes, you know, all it's that. generous. Okay. Yeah. yeah, it's generous. Okay, yeah. that's not a problem. Um, it is not a problem, yeah. Um, but it's just to keep those extreme cases out of the picture, because otherwise we'd have to print a ton of counters. You know? Yeah. Uh, okay, so we're done with campaign, so we go to levy. So now it's um, so now it's mud, meaning none of these dirt paths allow any. Um, but the ports are open. You need boats for rivers. The the and five cards instead of four in, for the command. Right? That's right. the other thing we got to remember. Okay, so. so it says it. Up there. I knew it was one end of the other. Yeah. This says boats and ships. That's what it tells you what yeah. moves. Yeah. That's right. Exactly. Okay. So then we do our uh, two events. That's this one. All right. All right. One cut. All right. Uh, first event is no event. Second yes. event. My favorite coin. Grand Prince favors a son. So, so um, the Grand Prince is interfering. He's going to restock your army, but he's going to choose which of his sons gets to have the glory. And he, he, he picks. So what are you, sending one of them home? So one cal on calendar, shift Alexander or Andre or furthest right service of either two boxes. So the service uh, is the same. So I can shift one of them two boxes. It's going to send Alexander. Yeah. So that's what the Grand Prince does. So he's going to be out of the game. He's going to be out of the game, which will make Andre a marshal. Right. That's it. But Andre has to be uh, paid for, or he's leaving also. 
I think, I, I think the scenario may be over. The scenario may be over. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, you're right, because they starved. Well, not really over. I mean, I still have one guy who's still in. You're, you're in, yeah. Um, but, but you're right. Your, your ability to attack is going to be... I shot small. my lot. Yeah, it's going to be small. I'm just trying to think. Um, because you already, you already. I, I, I use the money to keep them in. Yeah. You're not going to get this until, until all after. of the arms, which is going to be before disband. And if you have no coin over there, or I have loot, one coin, but it's with this guy. But he's, he's away. Yeah. Oh, too bad. <laughs> he could have kept. He could have kept Andre in there. Yeah, you're right. So these guys will will d disband and, and likely not return. Andre uh, Alexander will surely not return. Yeah. Um, what's what do you, you want to start again? Uh, no, I, I, I think I have... Well, I you think still have I, Gavrilo, it's true, I, and, and these guys are available, so, I mean, you're not... Technically, you're well, still... Well, yeah, but because it's wrapped, because it's you know, what do you, how do you say, mud, in the, you, can't, you can't advance on the... Right, but I am a point ahead. I yeah, really yeah. just need to kind of hold my ground. Yeah, I, I, I have a way and to score a point. I will but tell I, the other thing is I have a fleet. Yeah, you do. So I, I can't because I my, my move was going to be here, and then I was going to give them raiders and kill these two. Yep. And that yep. would get me a point. That's where I was going to get my point from. But you would then just do the same thing back. Right, and these are these are vulnerable. Yes, yeah, so you just go take them. So yeah. All right. So I think it's resignable. You want? Yeah. yeah. I went for right, the I went for the quick hit. Yeah. The, the, but as you can see, storming but, is tough. Well, no, I, I. But you noticed my dice were exceptionally. <laughs> well, yeah, they were they were not great. Yeah. They were not great. However. But it was tough. Um, but but the amount of I mean you never actually, all you did was cause um, Yaroslav to eat. Right, you never. Yeah, that's what pictures. I was trying to do. I was trying right. to get him out of there. Yeah, and you can do that safely with siege. Yeah. And if you do it with siege, you're also adding to those markers. Right, but I have to have food. See, what the, this, in this scenario, this is all burnt up, so I can only get so much. Move a big army. Right. You only get one pulse right. out. So I have found in this scenario, it's. Well, this is what they did historically. They went here. They took the city back. That's right. And then they, they and then they, then went, they went raiding, raiding and then here. the battle was here. So Correct. I was just following the history. That's fine. I just needed to yeah. take the city. Yeah, um, I've seen the city fall during the winter. Typically, it falls during the levee of the beginning of the spring. But right. It does work. I have found some more luck going and take, because Izborsk is such an easy target. Yeah, you take that, and then you, you have take a that before the mud hits. Right. And, and then, then come back to the yeah. city. Yeah, okay. I found that actually better. We, we can play it again. We we're all you set up. You want to set up again? Yeah, we'll do it again. Right, the plan that I had cooked up, and again, I was looking for like sort of the blitzkrieg. Um, you know, the idea is you you muster, you take the main army, and you go right at Piskov, and you're trying to get a siege and see if you can pull off a quick assault, or and, and it's hard to do. I mean, but but you know, I figured that would be the shot. You know, if it worked, then the whole scenario goes my way, and I, I kind of just win. So that was, I was going for the quick win. Then the other idea, and then of course you got this open, all these victory points up here. So I raised um, another lord, uh, Gavrilo. Is that yes. Yeah. And, and I and I, and he, because he's sort of like a naval. I use him as a naval. I use the uh, rivers to go here, get me over to here, and then I'm now it also prevents this uh, rebellion or mutiny or whatever it is, Grunigan or something like that. So there's a card that yeah. would turn. Bodhi and uh, treachery. It, yeah, Bodhi and treachery. So to prevent the treachery, you got to get a guy up here to yeah. kind of just manage the. So I, that was the idea: swing one guy up here, and then I was going to give him boats, and from here, sail into here, which is on your side, and give him raiders, and then score a point. You know, hit here and hit here for a quick point, which is not a bad move. And right. you can, and then of course the Danes are up here, but they have to come back over to start to deal with this. But if it's but that's where it gets interesting because if it's in the mud, when I wanted to do it, they can't come this way, and they can't do an amphibious assault into a port. So the idea is, once I'm in the port, I've locked out the border area, and they, and because of it's the the mud, they can't use carts to get here. But we never even got that far. Well, I had to wait for the mud. That, yeah. yeah. We never got that far because... Well, that's trying to draw you back down this way. Right, which you were. Yeah. And you did draw me back down this way. And uh, what happened there was the Blitzkrieg... Didn't work. Basically, yeah, um, founded on the on the walls of the scope. Yeah. Because, uh, because it is quite hard to storm a, three a city. A three-space city. A th yes, when there's an, a lord inside defending. Um, nor does it surrender until that lord is himself... Uh, or it, you know, it doesn't surrender, he has a chance of surrendering. 
Right. Uh, but if you're up to three or but four... But if you're sieging a place that has no lord, mm -hmm. the city doesn't need food. I mean, it doesn't... Right, it has enough... Exactly, it has enough that it's... But it's running out of food is represented by them surrendering. Right, right. That's the... That's, that's probably why they're surrendering. Yeah. yeah, but you need to have... But then you have to have siege lines at least like a three, so you get a three and not a minus of... Right, three if you're up to three, it's going to surrender pretty soon. Well, every other, you know, two, yeah. two die rolls. Well, one, the first die roll is going to put a, no, a fourth one on it if you've got the right. so it will surrender. But what happened in the storm then is he successive, uh, successively stormed, uh, defended the scope, and that Took did not go well. Basically, yeah. you take a lot of losses attacking walls. And so now he was so weak that my army, which by then had formed up here at, at Dorpot, Push was strong down. enough to, to chase him off and relieve the siege that way. And, and I thought about also, fighting. I also almost fought, but I think yeah. I was going to get killed. And, and then th what ended it was not a big battle, but what ended it was in that travail of having to retreat from my superior army, you ended up not having enough food and some of your lords or, or basically, my army was disbanding. Basically, the army done. was disbanding, helped by the the Grand Prince, who recalled one of his sons, who thought, "No, this is not a good adventure for you, my son." Yeah. So, so, so ultimately, it, so, so actually, very medieval. You know, it's like yeah. you know, they 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 said, "Everybody, we're going to go get this place, and you're going to give you lots of stuff," and it didn't work out. Well, out. this didn't work out. We're out of yeah. here. <laughs> Whereas, if the storm works, a good thing about storming is then you sack the place yes. and you get food and money and loot, and now yeah. you're in, you're in clover. <laughs> yeah. But I, I think I was going because I don't. This one obviously is easier to take. Very easier. Well, it's only a one, so I can I can storm one. it on the first try. Most of the time, a well-resourced single lord can walk in and siege, and this very next time, storm it and take it. Yeah. That's the usual result. Because he only has one man at arms. That, that's what people are. This is three, the three men at arms is tough to knock through. It is tough to knock through, so you need a lot of times. But this little fort is up. Yeah. yeah. I mean, you know, one. I seen a picture of it. It's not that big. It's a little. It's wooden also. It's not even stone. Right. The real it, historical it ones. Yeah. Actually, Pascov is mostly wooden too. Right, but it's more substantial. It has a bigger garrison. Yeah. yeah. The walls are actually the same. But the difference with this is it's a it's a tiny garrison by comparison. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. The garrison was a little. Now, if I have a lord inside, it's different. Yeah. Now, if you didn't have the lord, well, you retreated in. I would, I knew you would retreat in, so I, that wasn't a surprise. I mean, I, I knew that no, no, you would do. Stupid not to. Yeah. yeah. It was, a, it was a no brainer. Because I have limited food and, uh, and I, I did the tax just so Yaroslav can hold out a little longer under siege. Yeah. Okay, so that was our wind up. <laughs> All right, so that was the training.